almost without fail on a daily basis, I'm going to be asked by a real estate professional, where should my focus be right now? And when I ask them, what do you mean by right now? Often the response is going to say, well, since the interest rates are high or since the inventory is low, maybe because of this thing that's happening with litigation and lawsuits. And my response is often the same or always the same. Why would you think that doing something different now is necessary? Now, the tactics that we use might differ, but our focus has been, will always be on four key areas. And I am surprised, well, I used to be surprised, not anymore, that many real estate agents, that many professionals don't know the four areas or behaviors that are responsible for almost all success. And that's going to be networking, prospecting, negotiating, and marketing. Networking, prospecting, negotiating, and marketing. So when someone asks me, where should my focus be right now? I'm going to say networking, prospecting, negotiating, and marketing. When they asked me almost 20 years ago, where should my focus be? Networking, prospecting, negotiating, and marketing. And so here's what I want to tell you as a real estate professional, focus on those key behaviors. Don't get distracted. Don't be fooled by all of this talk in the industry about what you should do, could do, what's new, what's changing. Where are we sticking to? Networking, prospecting, negotiating, and marketing. So ask yourself, what are what level are your skills in these areas? When it comes to networking, are you a skilled networker? I'm not talking about do you go to networking events and get your drink tickets, have a couple of drinks, and then pass out business cards like Gambit of the X-Men. I'm not talking about do you get dressed or dolled up and then just go hang out with your friends. I'm not even talking about networking events. What are your skills like when it comes to building your network? Do you know how to dress to um, convey the correct message to the people that you want to work with? Are you um, skilled in communicating? Because communication is a part of networking, prospecting, negotiating, and marketing. So if you focus on those four areas, let's look at prospecting. How much time as a real estate pro do you spend prospecting? Now, I'm not here to tell you what your prospecting looks like. I'm not saying door knock or cold call, but prospecting activity. Where are you going out looking for gold? Because that's what the whole idea is. In what areas or connections, um, maybe geographical farm areas, maybe it's a type of product, maybe your prospecting and networking are going to go hand in hand. Have you honed those skills? Do you know what good prospecting looks like? Have you thought about the questions or the fears, those pain points that the individuals that you're going to be speaking with, that they're going to be facing on a daily basis? Or... Are you skilled at prospecting so much so that you can answer the questions that they don't even know they have? When it comes to negotiating, are you a skilled negotiator? Do you know what a good versus bad negotiation is? Have you dialed into different high or low context cultures knowing that with some, you must be a hard negotiator. Others, they want a win-win situation so that everyone comes out feeling like a champ. Do you know when to press a little harder in negotiations or not? Do you know when you should share information or when you should just shut up? If not, you haven't focused on those key behaviors. And as real estate pros, when it comes to negotiation, we must do better. And then finally, marketing. We know that we are always selling, not only marketing products or services, but also ourselves. If you are unskilled at marketing, you can do the other three areas great and still be lacking because when it comes to marketing we must let others know that we are 
available, that our services at the homes that we are marketing are available and highlight those features. So if we, if you as a real estate pro wants to know today, whenever you're watching this, where your focus should be, I'm going to say networking, prospecting, negotiating, and marketing. I'm willing to bet what has been true will continue to be true. The tactics that we use might change, but our behaviors and our focus will remain true. Remember, I love you. God loves you. And there's nothing you can do about it. And until the next time I see you or you see me, don't be average. Be world-renowned. Peace.